Hello everybody and greetings and welcome to my monthly uh, book haul. So I forgot to shoot an intro, I have already hauled a book. So we're gonna go and, and cut to that now. Dane reads. Hello, I'm going freehand for this. I almost said freelance. Uh, I have a book to haul, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It is my top secret book um, because it deals with uh, a healthcare condition that a loved one of mine has. So I don't really wanna that I think it was just better if I don't talk specifically about this book but I do want to say that I got a book so at least my overall haul number will be accurate don't want to pretend I didn't get a book but it's not getting reviewed and it's not going on Goodreads and I'm currently reading it, it's very interesting Hello everybody, I have some books to haul for you um, my mum came to visit recently so we went for a little trek around the charity shops we went to uh, Aylesbury which is uh, about 10, 15 miles away from my house, so I've got a bu 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 bunch of books there, and I also got, I think, one that I ordered online. Um, funnily enough, these are all almost, almost all by the same authors. Um, so I've got The Girl Who Lived Twice by David Lagerkrantz, so this is one of the Stieg Larsson's Millennium Continuation books. Um, and I have the other two up there, The Girl Who Takes an Eye for an Eye and The Girl in the Spider's Web. So um, I think this now means I have all of them, I just need to read the new, the new trilogy. I did like the original one that was written by Stieg Larsson, but then he died and so, you know, David Lagerkrantz continuing it. So we'll see how he did. Speaking of continuations, I have The Monogram Murders by Sophie Hanna, a Hercule Poirot mystery. So I've been reading a lot of Sophie Hanna anyway lately, um, but I, I got into it because of the Hercule Poirot continuations that she did. So I've also got Closed Casket here, another Hercule Poirot. Um, so that'll be good. Speaking of Sophie Hanna, I also got Little Face and Did You See Melody, just two more of her, her books. Um, and then we move on to the Louis Theroux stack. Not the Louis Theroux stack. Well, that's a spoiler. I got The Call of the Weird by Louis Theroux. I uh, picked this up at HMV. My band actually had a, a gig in store. So while I was there, I had a look at the books and bought that and also a poster. I picked up Ghost Written by David Mitchell because at the time of filming, I'm literally just getting to the end of Black Swan Green by David Mitchell. And I've read a few of his other books and enjoyed those as well. Uh, then what else do I have? I got The Chrysalids by John Wyndham. I actually picked that up here in High Wycombe. Uh, I got Prick Up Your Ears, the screenplay by Alan Bennett, adapted from John Lars bi biography. Um, so this is one that I ordered online because I'm slowly but surely reading everything that Alan Bennett's ever done. And then I got a couple of Peter James books. So I got Dead Letter Drop and Host. I believe Host is about vampires. Maybe not. I don't know. I just assumed it was, but it's not. But anyway, uh, I do like Peter James, so I'll be looking forward to getting to those. So it's a good little, good little stack. Let's refill my, my list because I was starting to run out of books to read. Okay, I have a couple of books. Um, so I've received Self Care for Witches by Blair Blackmore, um, which is a client of mine. I actually, I'm probably not going to read this myself because I'm not a witch, but I'm going to be giving it to my girlfriend Shay, who is a bit of a witch. So um, I picked that up. And then I picked up Royally, Dollar, blah, blah, Royally Doris by Charles Heathcote, our very own Charlie. Um, I helped him to edit this book and I'm glad that it's finally out so I picked it up so that I could uh, add it to my Charles Heathcote collection. So very nice. I'm even mentioned in the thank yous so thank you Charlie. Appreciate it. Well, hello there. I have some books to haul for you today. Um, so I'll start with these two. These were sent to me by Charles Heathcote, Charlie, Charles Heathcote here on YouTube. Well, he sent me Royally Doris, his new book, which I have also already purchased. Um, so I will probably give this to my, my other half. I signed it to Dane, editor extraordinaire, friend and vegan. Your help with this novel is most appreciated, as is your continued support. Best wishes, Charles Heathcote. So I will probably keep this signed version and give the other version to my other half. And he also sent me Ozma and the Wayward Wand by Polly Berenz, a brand new Oz adventure. Um, and this is one that isn't on my list of all of the Oz books that I want to read, so quite excited to, to pick this up. And it's uh, like a short one for early readers. Um, speaking of books I edited, I was also sent uh, Voradin's Lair by J.V. Hilliard. So again, this is one that I edited. He says, uh, Dane, without you this work would not be possible. Wait till the third. Uh, an homage, a bit small to you. Hope you like it. In gratitude, Voradin's Lair, and he signed it for me. So, thank you very much. Um, again, this will be going on my, my keep pile. Um, and then I picked up Fairy Tale by Stephen King. This is his new book. I know absolutely nothing about it. I didn't even know it was out until I saw people talking about it on BookTube. So I'm looking forward to getting to this soon. 
All right, anyway, folks, that's it for me. Those are all the books that I received in the month of September 2022. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.